Joe Hopkins here, and I'm doing a video on the top five mistakes in famous songs. Why would I do this? Because everybody else has. <laughs> and I decided to look up, I looked up an article on it. Why not? And my question is, are are these really mistakes? Some of them, yes. Some of them, I'm not so sure. But you might have heard of one or two of these. You might not have heard of all of them. Let's go down through it. As I race to the bottom of content creation. Yes. All right. Let, let's see what we got here. We're going to listen to some of these. First, they got Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. Now, let's see. What's this say about it? Yeah. Um, apparently, David Gilmore coughs. He coughs in it, but he didn't just cough. Uh, it, it would seem that he couldn't hold the cough back because of his smoking. And the cough sounded so bad that it caused him to quit smoking. He was not happy about it being left in there. He didn't like it. It freaked him out. When he heard the playback, he's, he quit smoking. It's a cough bad enough to make you quit smoking. So let me, let me get my old-fashioned earbuds with the... All right, it's got a cord. I don't have the wireless. I'm, I'm way behind the times. Let's listen to this, all right? Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. How coffee is his cough? Okay, that's a pretty bad cough. I want to hear that again. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that could make you quit smoking. That's pretty bad. That is, that sounds really phlegmy. You know what I mean? That sounds like he just, you know, I don't know. That's the sound you get when you, you go to swallow a clam and it gets stuck in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is the Nirvana song, Polly. We all know the song Polly, but have you ever have you ever really listened to the lyrics? It is messed up, man. It says, I've heard this before. It, it's an account of the kidnapping, rape, and torture of a 14-year-old girl who was returning home from a punk rock concert in 1987. And he wrote it from the point of view of the perpetrator, not the victim, which is messed up. It's a messed up song. That's, that's kind of like, woo. It, it's listen to it. It's creepy as hell. Really listen to it though. You know, I always thought this was cool. I've heard this before. He recorded it on a five string Stella guitar that he bought at a pawn shop for 20 bucks and never even changed the strings. If you want to know why it has such a, a, why the guitar sounds so, you know, sounds the way it does, listen to it. That is a crappy guitar, but it sounds cool. You know what I mean? It worked, but apparently the, it, it's on the beginning of the third verse. He says, he uh, says, Polly said too early, too early, and then had to repeat it. But he also said that they did the same thing in the demo recording and live recording. So he, it sounds like he meant to do it. Like he does it every time. When you do it every time, you mean it. But let's see. Let's see. Did he mean it? Let's hit it. Oh, uh, no. It, there we go. I'm having tr technical difficulties. Polly said. Polly says it back. Okay. Is that even a mistake? He just says it twice, right? He said it early and then he repeats it and he did it in the demo. I think that was on purpose. That's, that's my guess. That was on purpose. Yeah. I will put that as purposeful. Next one we got. The Police by Roxanne. Yeah, okay, so uh, it's a song about a prostitute. That's right. Uh, written in the red light district in Paris, right? They, he, they, the police were going to do a show. It got canceled. They ended up staying in a crappy hotel above the red light district, and Sting wrote a massive hit out of that. That's the story anyway. But also, at the beginning of the song, he sits on a piano. Just sits on it, it goes, bleh, and then he laughs. That's the whole mistake. What I find particularly amusing, though, is uh, on the album, it was he was credited as playing butt piano on the song. So why not? Why not make a joke out of it, butt piano? Let's hear what butt piano 
sounds like. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> yeah, it's just ha 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 ha. The funny thing is, I never, I never thought that was a mistake. I didn't, I didn't know. I, 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 that's like a classic part of the song. Everybody hears that laugh at the beginning. Uh, you know, I always, I, I wouldn't have known it was a mistake, but it is a mistake. They left it in. It does sound cool though, much cooler than than uh, David Gilmore's, <laughs> which doesn't sound cool. That does sound like emphysema, is what it sounds like. But okay, I digress. What else do we have here? I've heard of this one. Louis Louie by the Kingsmen. At around 50 second, or 56 seconds in, the drummer yells, fuck. Why? Apparently he, I, I don't hear what's wrong with the drums. He missed a note. I can't tell. Let's see if you can tell. Can you tell if he missed the note? It doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Yep, yep, it's pretty clear. Let, let's hit, hear it again. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hear that again. It's clear. He's yelling it. He yells it. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. You can hear it. Yeah, he yells it right there in the background. And they played that on the radio. On the radio. How dare they? That, that violates the FCC and all that kind of stuff. But there it is, man. Clear as day. Yeah, he... Throws out an F-bomb right in the middle of the whole stinking thing, right? So, okay. Okay, that's four of them. That's four of them. I'm putting my headphones down. I'm not playing the last one. I'm not playing it because I, I can't find it. I'd like for you guys to listen and tell me if you can hear it. It's on the Beach Boys song, Here Today, off of Pet Sounds, right? And apparently during that weird instrumental part, uh, it gives the numbers here from a minute and 48 to two minutes and 26 on the song, right? It's like a 40 second spot. I don't want to get copyright dings. So I'm not playing 40 seconds of a song or I'm going to get like this video get took down or whatever. But during that period of time, let's see. Bruce Johnston, who uh, is the, I, I don't know, is, is saying something about the camera of the photographer in the studio. Brian Wilson then yells, no talking at Johnston, who didn't know they were recording. At the end of the instrumental section, Wilson yells, top please, which was originally a cue to the technician to rewind the tape to the beginning of the song for a new take of vocals. I listened to the whole thing like five times in a row, turned it up, was holding the headphones, really listening. I can't hear any of it. I, I don't know... It, it, it's not there as far as I can tell. I, maybe I just, I'm missing something. I don't know. I don't hear the chatter. It ended up in the song. So they say, I can't find it. I'd like you guys to go on a hunt. I'll give you the cues again. A minute 48 to two minutes 26. And it, it's during that like instrumental part and I can't hear it. But uh, if it's there, that's a mistake. It's a mistake in a, a famous song that I can't find. So there we go. We've got five famous songs that have mistakes in them, right? And the mistakes that are in them. One, I think, is not a mistake. I think that was purposeful. The others are mistakes, but the best one is David Gilmore's. Because, yeah, that doesn't sound healthy. That doesn't. Yeah. If I heard that on a recording, I'd quit smoking too, right? Anyway, there you go. There's a little, D D David Gilmore, there's a little bit other stuff on there too. Before he starts playing the lead part on the guitar, you can also kind of hear him, you know, I guess take a sip of something, a little bit of breathing noises. It, it's there, it's there, but nothing like the, <clears throat> so there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you found it somewhat informative. Look for that Beach Boys one. Tell me if you hear it, because I don't. And, uh... There we go. Hey, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. I love you guys. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye.